Alrighty guys, welcome back to Ark, where today is the day we start working on the farms. So, I do got a couple farms in mind today to start with. First things first though, I do want to show you what I have done around the base. Now you may notice I'm not running around in my tech gear anymore. Again, we're done with that. It's in the replicator. Oh, also I was able to build a replicator and I also threw together a generator. Now I'm waiting on getting more black pearls, and that's actually what we're going to be doing today. So you may notice these, this little wooden structure here I built. I built kind of like a nice little water farm, I guess, so that way I can, uh... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Did I hop in the one where the ladders are broken? I don't know. That one ladder there wouldn't let me climb up. But yeah, I built these little water farms here, and... I'm pretty sure I can climb up each and every ladder. I should be able to. Oh, damn. Can I not? Yeah, I can. Okay, I might have to go revisit uh, the ladders here. But, yeah. These little water farms. Now, there's also a big old, like, uh, I guess, dock over on that side. Also, the guns are online and they have ammo, luckily. So, they are also keeping my water creatures now protected. Um... Yeah, this wooden dock. And then I also threw together this little structure here. Now, this is going to be my little cabana where I uh, have my uh, thinking. Where I keep my stuff for the breeding and all that and I have my air conditioners. I completely spaced off there. So anyways, I got to get me some air conditioners and I do need to get me a little uh, container for my tools. Okay, so I got me 10 air conditioners here so i'm gonna quickly go throw these down i still need to get me like a little wooden crate so that way i can throw my painting tool and all that in there so that way it's located over here but we will get started boom boom then this is hopefully enough here to get all the eggs that we ever could imagine hatched I could not imagine this, like, not being enough. Maybe for a giga, but either way, I add another five, it's going to get a giga. But I'm pretty sure that right there is more than enough. Okay, I forgot to hit record, but I put down a refrigerator and two cryo fridges. Now what we're going to be doing is transferring over all of our uh, genetic library. And once we get that done, we're actually going to pop out a couple species here to get started breeding. So we're just going to go wabam. That is the entirety of the genetic library. Um, we do got a lot of creatures that we have that still need to be added. And we are working on that. I promise you that. Okay, so now I got everything over here transferred. Now I need an over-raptor. Yes. Uh, we'll worry about the... I could technically start the ovis here, but I will worry about them here later. Let's get the over-raptor here quickly. Uh... Hot bar, and we're just gonna pop them out right here next to the little bit. What is it? The cabana. I can't talk today, guys. If you can't tell, usually can never talk. But we got these guys breeding. We're gonna hopefully get an egg here, and well, it's two minute cooldown. But once uh, we get an egg here, we will hatch it up, and then we will have our own personal overraptor to use. Well, technically, I have to hatch two because I need one for the egg farm, and I also need one for egg collection over here. So, all right, we'll get this figured out. Okay, so this here should be our last overraptor egg that we need. Boom. Now, I got two of them now, so I should be able to go and cryopod these guys back up, and they're good to go back into the cryo fridge. Now, we have to hatch up both these overraptor eggs, and hopefully, everything goes okay. Uh, look right here and then wabam toss out both those and now we gotta wait 30 seconds on this okay here we go Ooh, a little bit of lag do we get triplets no we got twins and i'm pretty sure watch they're gonna be mate boosted yeah they're gonna mate boost one another not planned but i'll take it now let's get you guys i don't have eggs how do i feed you Oh, I gotta think this over, because they might starve. I don't think they will. They should be fine. I trust it. 
Okay, so I was looking into getting some tech troughs. We might be able to do that here later. Um, I did just get me another 50 black pearls. I think I'm short a bit, though. I'm running a little low on element. I might have to go do the boss fight a couple times. But these guys are almost fully grown. I don't think I'm going to be able to imprint on you. Damn. Huh. I think I have to turn down your maturation just a tiny bit, game. We might be cutting it close. I know this one's going to be like an insta when you give it the imprint. Oh yeah, no, these guys are impossible to imprint. Ooh, I got to turn down the maturation a tiny bit. So I got one little problem though with these guys. I have no food for them because all they eat is eggs. So actually, hold up. No, you guys should already be set to gathering that. If there's any eggs in about, out and about, they'll get them. I think Basilosuchus is the only one that I've seen with an egg. That's poop. So we're going to position one right about here. And we're going to have him be our fertilized egg collector. Now I know it's weird having him way over there. Just so that way I can have as much distance in between me and the cabana. For when I'm breeding creatures. And hopefully he's not picking it up. And this will hopefully be wide enough that he can uh, reach into the water and get those guys. Now let me uh, get our next creature here. So what was it we were going to need? Okay, so I have figured it out. I'll show you guys it here real quick. Uh, drag this over. So, these are the creatures that I've decided on for eggs. Of course, we're going to go Dodos, uh, Pteranodons, and Capros. I know that's an interesting one. And Argentavises, Therizinos, and Utahs. Now, the only ones I have access to at the exact moment are Utahs and Therizinos. So we will actually have to go do some taming to get these guys. Now, technically, I don't have to go and like full on get them for the genetic library, but I would like to. So technically, we can get started here with one of our... Oh, I also need a bee. I need to tame a bee because that's one of the creatures I don't have in my genetic library. I have these two, which are my clonable creatures. And yeah, I need a bee to add to this collection of clonable creatures. I also want to quickly look at something here. What do I need for a cloning chamber? Um, surprisingly, just more crystal and more black pearls. I'm not joking. And I can have a cloning chamber, but it's the element that's going to become a real problem soon. I'm going to have to get my guys out, heal them, and go back in and fight the bosses all over again. Now, we're not going to worry about the cloning chamber just quite yet. What we need to do is look up a dodo. Boom. Now, we're going to set a parameter. Boom, give me every dodo over 100. Now, that's a female 150. Um, do we got any other 150s hanging about? Huh. Let's just go get this one for now. And then we'll find a male. Also, I'm just gonna take my ghillie suit. And I'm gonna wear it. If we lose it, I'm sorry. But we're gonna wear the ghillie. Uh, this cloth armor I've been running around in can get lost. I just needed cloth Clothing. But we're going to use this. We're going to hop on you. Now, let's run over to this little island real quick. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to punch a dodo unconscious. Um, I think I'm going to have to feed it medjo berries as well. I really don't know what I'm going to have to do here. It's quite literally walking into the water. Oh my god. I don't have my crossbow with me. Can I... You're actively in the water. Is something eating you? Actively? No, you're just chilling. You're about to be dinner, dude. OK, 
Okay, what I need to do is this. One more. There we go. Now she's out. Let's go get some medjo berries. It's not going to give me the berries I want right off the bat. Maybe I should have started a berry farm today. But technically I have to clone the ant for that. You know what? Maybe I'll focus in on getting the crystal. Because it's the black pearls I'm waiting on. Quite literally. And also... Um, you know what? I could probably start breeding those guys. I need to uh, get back to base here. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. This might take a little bit. Although you are munching down quick on those berries. Okay, we got us a dodo, and it's not perfect. But, yeah. Only way I can be get a dodo perfect. Also, why do you have to... Uh, I guess, you know, I don't have to worry about your health. But I got a dodo with 49 health, I just realized... Maybe I can focus on melee for the male. That'd be a stupid idea, though, to breed that kind of stats into the dodos. Okay, now that I have the dodos, let's go after pteranodons. Do you have stats that I would like? No. So I actually have to go for... Yeah, no. That was a 29, not a 40. I was getting hopeful. I need to grab my crossbow and also pteranodons. Let's, uh, none of those respond in. Maybe I can change out the creature for one I already have. Okay, so I've changed the actual creatures that we are looking for to pegos for the next one. So we got the two dodos. Now I need to go find two 150 pegos. I'm really not... I know I can't find any. I might have to go fly around the beaches for a little bit. Okay, so we're going to take Stella. We finally got some Pegos to spawn in. At our 150, let's... Uh, space bar to jet. Yep. We're going to jet over here to this Pego. Let's actually make sure that we have uh, the Medjo Berries ready for stealing. If I'm correct, this should be an Instatain. As soon as we land, this male runs and attacks us. I'm not too worried about the stats on the Pegos. Uh, I really probably don't need to focus on stats on these guys. Come on. Oh, you just took every... I should have broken those up into multiple stacks. Steal again, please. There we go. Then we'll put that one in. Oh, that's actually taking quite a bit. I need quite a bit of medjo berries. Are you going to steal from me or are you just going to chase me? I think he needs a couple more. He's almost there. 83%. Our taming efficiency is still at 100. And by the looks of it, we're going to get an absolute perfect on him. Which, again, Pegos are one of those species where no matter what, you kind of just get a perfect on them. Go. Is this guy going to come back and attack me?
I don't know what's going on there. Is he swimming out into the ocean to die? Oh my god, he is. Why? Why, why, why? I just shot at him. No, don't hit him. I need to just watch him, make sure he gets across, and when he gets across, I'll land and try and have him steal the Medjo Berries from me. Then we'll think about something for that other Pego. Because it appears I can't just go full in with a stack. Or a huge stack. Because, uh, I don't know why. Please attack me. Why is it still fleeing? Um. What's going on? Is he bugged? Is he broke? I can't see a thing. There we go. No, you were just stupid. Do you have all my medjo berries on you? No, you have a chunk of them, though. Thank you. You can go with this crowd, bud. Um. I'm gonna go hop on Stella, and we'll go after that other one. Okay. I got my Pegos. Come pop them out here next to the Dodos. And then... What we're gonna do now... Let's get over there. Is also go get our water tames and get them going. So, that's the wrong cryo fridge. I need Eryptorids. I hit W. E hmm. I might actually have to scroll through these and find them. Okay, we are popping out all of our creatures that need to be breeding in the water. Just gonna pop them out right here underneath the steps. I don't want them right directly in front of the guns. So, ooh, that is blinding. I know I can adjust the light, especially on these guys. Can I dim you real quick? Um, toggle intensity. Let's toggle that down to a one. Toggle intensity down to one. There we go. Now you're not as intense. So we'll throw out an Eryptorid. Throw you out. You guys are my breeding lobsters. Now, let's get you guys going. Now, I only need a couple eggs out of each of these guys. I'm drowning! Forgot, I need air. No longer wearing tech armor. I ain't gonna lie, I built this entire dock in that area over there. While I still had the tech armor. Just because it made it so much easier. I still have not gone in here and put down a stone wall. We can still swim underneath the entirety of the platform here. So I got those guys all breeding. I'm not going to get these guys breeding. And yeah, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Because again, I'm going to just get these guys. We're going to populate those farms. Then we'll get these guys bred up. Then I'll go here at the start of next episode. We'll go get some Capros. And we'll also get some Argentavises. And then we should be good to start an egg farm. Let me just double check, make sure I have their Xenos and Utahs. I'm I know I should. Fair. I don't have their Xenos. Yeah, I have Utahs. I thought I did their Xenos. Oh no, I did Serratos. Um Let me check. Maybe I got some other creature I can use. Oh, no, I don't. I don't. I have to use a Therizino. It's the smallest one for that class. I have to go actually tame up Therizinos now.
But anyways, guys, if you have found yourself at any point today enjoying this episode, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. Also, remember to ring that notification bell so that you guys can be notified upon me posting new videos. And anyways, this has been Gunshai Moray. Peace out. Yeah.